Okay, so I have more accessories here. I have a hard disk. Steve Jobs was there. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the line matches exactly. Contact. Yep. The fan's not even turning on. No, okay. Nothing. Ah, finally we have something to restore here. Yeah. Excellent. The, uh, Okay, so uh, first problem is that this used to be a torque screw back then, but it looks like they opened it up with something and it's all mangled up. There's only one screw, right? Yes, only one screw. Okay. But it's very, it's very, it's not easy to open it uh, because you risk to break the plastic. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. So I've been warned by Luca, it's too hard. So it will do that off screen. So if you goof up, we'll never see it. Okay. It's very clean. Yeah. You just pull it. Pinched really, there's no. Oh, it's this, this guy is the one. Okay, so we know mm. we have to push that one. This is this was the retaining. Okay, uh, okay, cleaning time. So, my guess is that there is absolutely nothing that comes out of that power supply. There is minus six volts. Okay. The fan didn't even turn. The fan is a. Okay. Yeah. No, that's no good. So yeah, this says DC 12 volts, and I didn't get any 12 volts out of that thing. So, oh, it should say what the output should be on the side of the thingy. Let's take it out. I think you see the plastic against the... Uh, yes. So this, I think you have to slide the toward the front. Yes. yes. That was the trick. And then... Here we go. Yes. Sony! No, it doesn't tell which voltages come out of it. How can that be? Here we go. 1 is plus 5, 2 common, 3 common, 4 plus 12 and I don't have a 5 and I have a minus 12 okay so let's recheck it with knowing that yeah this one is barely 9 volts and I think Luca might be onto something yeah it crashes it completely you were right Luca oh. on the load it just cannot take it So this, this screw is just totally toast. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we just do it the delicate way here. It's a 400 volt, 100 microfarad. Oop, that's going to be tough to replace. Looks pretty good, 96 microfarad. And it will give you the ESR points, so it looks like a perfectly good capacitor. Uh, so crap, probably something else. Uh, so there was another filtering capacitor, four point high voltage, four point seven microfarad, two hundred fifty volts. It's about four point something microfarads, but it's one point eight ohms ESR. So that one is suspicious. Although I wouldn't think it would bring down the whole power supply like this. We tested the transistors and uh, the main switching transistor, nothing looked terribly bad. So before getting too crazy in repairing the supply, it's no uh, obvious stuff, uh, I wanted to see if it had a chance to turn on once the supply was good, so I hooked it up to my lab power supplies plus 5 and minus 12. And while I was trying off camera to do it, uh, first it didn't start. You could hear the disc trying to start the stalling. And then I went right into the uh, current limit of this power supply. And then eventually that transistor gave up the ghost. Well, I suppose it's the motor transistor, so they, it got uh, magic smoke uh, coming out of it. What I think is uh, happening is that uh, the drive is stalled, it can't, uh, can't spin and that uh, it stresses the transistor and the power supplies which killed the plus 12 volt and now it killed the transistors once I put a stronger power supply.
Okay, so I took the dead transistor out. It now has a little dot into it where the smoke escaped from. Put another one. These are PNP kind of 2 amp transistor. Replace it with a 4 amp. Um, and I disconnected the disc and I'm uh, trying to see if I can recreate my experiment first without the disc uh, and then with the disc and it's likely to fail. Alright, ready. File holds in. And okay, so the board is doing something, it's blinking. And it's drawing relatively little current, 35, uh, 350 milliamp on the 5 volts and almost nothing on the 12 volt and the fan is fanning. Okay, so ne now let's reconnect the disc and do the same thing. And I expect spectacular things to happen. So now I have 150 milliamps on the plus 12 volts. I'm going to fire the logic board. And well, it's it's already at one point, so I'm going to finish it here. It already went up at 1.26 current limit. Uh, so the disk is just dead. Uh, so that's not revivable because those are not SCSI disks. They are weird, uh, raw dime unknown and obtainium uh, discs uh, it's not SCSI nor ID so here's the driving question it's quite interesting well first is the super complicated one is before integrated controllers I suppose we could remove the motor leads here but the best thing is that this is this has screws you can actually open it up uh, so since there is no hope for the dis this disc any anymore, I might just try to do it, see what's inside. <laughs> Take the screws off, uh, they're probably torqued pretty high. And see if I can uh, unstuck the bearings. So disc surgery. Removal of drive covers with invalidate warranty, but we, we won't tell them. We'll still go drive to Cupertino and complain. Okay, that. And sticky. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is full of scratches. I don't know what to make of this. We have a heavily marked surface here. I don't know what it looked like. The the disc head has dragged. The bearing feels really harsh. It's like a an LP record. A scratch will replace. So I mean, the, this this head crashed basically is what I would think happened. So if you see nothing stuck here that would So I'll try to uh, put it back together and see if just you know, spinning it by hand was enough. To uh, get it unstuck but my feeling is that it's not, that something way worse happened and that the uh, top head has crashed. Okay, let's see or hear what's going to happen. Contact. Oh, it's spinning up.
it is working. Yeah, we can see. Yeah, we can see the here. If I blow it up for you, you can watch the uh, head motor here, and it should try to. There's a little mark on it. Should try to do six. Here we go. Oh, it's saying to calibrate. Reading all the tracks. Oh, I can't tell what it's doing. So, give up on repairing that power supply. It's just not worth it, given that the chances of this being good are very, very low. Uh, so, I just do a, a transplant and use that power supply instead. Uh, I think the PC board will fit in the old case. Okay, the transplant has been successful. I have a new power supply here and I managed to make the transformation pretty clean. It powers up. Maybe we can reformat the drive once it's in the Mac. Detecting it should be able to do, but reading it I would not expect much success or I would expect it to complain. Okay, so let's see if we can see the light in the disc. Not very much, you have to be straight in front of it. But okay, so it's now it's gone steady. Try again. You are kidding me. It's a happy Mac. It reads the disc. I no, I I can't believe it. <laughs> I opened the darn thing, so I don't. I don't know how long it's going to last. Ta-da! This is a disc, and uh, it's Neil's disc. So. Mr. Neil, you have a star, start car, hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics, H I R O glyphics. What is this? Mac right. Okay, it opened the file. Well, it's Nielski. Mr. Nielski. Start car. To start this car. Pump accelerator pedal twice to floor and release. Turn key one click counterclockwise. Push silver button on left side of dash. Let car warm up or it will stall in gear. Wow. Now that was worse. <laughs> Hearing a Macintosh. <laughs> no, I don't want to say anything. Okay, well, well it's, it's getting late, so I'll explore that later. Well, darn, after a while it stopped working after I guess a couple hours. I heard a noise and it had this nasty smell. It's a done processor. It's super hot. Looks like the chip even kind of exploded here. It has a little bump in it. And this time I am totally dead because that's a Z8601 IPS, which is, is a Zilog processor with internal ROM. So they just, uh, this one was pre-programmed with the, the, whatever, the controller for the disk. So now I am really hosed. All right, so we don't, we're not giving up yet because uh, Luca was hiding back here. Hi. He um, he has actually uh, a, a, a disc that he brought. It tells me it's bad. 
This is yeah. coming from Poland, by the way. Oh, Polish disc. <laughs> oh, we might have a Polish <laughs> version. And, and so if we try it on... And the user uh, didn't know if it was working, if it was uh, both as uh, broken. Yeah. He does spin, which is good. And then it goes through a calibration, but then never reads per sector. Uh, but that's definitely not working because it didn't continue uh, mm. scanning afterwards. Yeah, I never did. Alright, so I'm going to swap them. This is my disc with the bad everything. Bad disc that doesn't even spin up. Processor that's fried. And this is one that spins up but doesn't go through the whole initialization procedure. Let's see if it does better with mine. At least I have a very good power supply in there. Alright, so one, two, three. Spins up. And it goes through calibration. Oh, but then it scans. So that's what mine was doing when it worked. Let's do it again. Calibration. And now it goes one step further when it tries to read something. So that's good yep. news. All right, so let's try it on the machine, I'd say. Let's see. If it boots, if we find something useful. Do it. It did. know which one yeah. we had. Welcome, bitch, Polish choice. So the one you just plugged in. All right, okay, well, there's a second disc we revived. We don't know for how long. Okay, Archive Music in Hood Special. Over, I think it's more German language. Over the Finder. No, that's not German. No. This is Dutch. This is not Polish. Schitzbook, so we bestand Tusten Board. Hard disk. I want the hard disk. Oh, it's in French. <laughs> well, better than uh, for you, it's for sure better. At least I can read it. Yeah, now. Easy test? Yeah, this time will be fine. What is it called? It's a hard Maybe that it doesn't get the name. Is well, what yeah, it's actually called always. It calls it all, always that. Okay, like that. start or you want the, the command D mode? Well, I don't know. Let's do start uh, when they win. 15 minutes, yep. Oh, we have waited a lot more than this. Wow! Yeah, the first one, yeah. Luca, it passed. Okay, let me take a picture of that. Wow, well, we have a good disc? Well, at least it says so. <laughs> I, I have uh, networked it to my little SC back there. So we should be able to uh, download the disc and save it.